How do you fine tune an AI algorithm and why would you do it in the first place? You would want to fine tune if you want your AI to be like an expert at something. It can feel like ChatGPT knows everything, but at the end of the day, it's a generalist. It can sound like it has really deep knowledge, but it doesn't. So if you want it to be able to do something really specific, really detailed, like in my case, evaluate surveys, you've got to fine tune it. To put a finer point on this, think about how these models were developed. Like ChatGPT didn't go to a survey design course, it wasn't trained by survey experts, it didn't even read the best books on survey design. It learned how to design surveys based on like the publicly available survey stuff it could find. And what do a lot of these surveys that are publicly available have in common? They're not very good. Fine tuning it, helping it to develop as a true survey expert, like is the best route. So in my case, that means I'm taking the ChatGPT base model. I am feeding it additional data to train it to do something specific. I'm training it to recognize good survey questions, bad survey questions, and make suggestions to help people make their bad survey questions good. So the most important step in fine tuning is that you need an amazing data set because basically like you'll go into like OpenAI's fine tuning interface and you will upload the data set of how you want the AI to learn, the information you want it to learn from, and it will start like learning from it. Here's what I've learned from that experience. I had a very like beautiful, clean, perfectly labeled data set had like bad survey questions and why they were bad and good survey questions and why they were better and it was just like pristine obsessed with it and it did not work at all for fine tuning like it it was so bad y'all and the thing is is because these are language models right like it doesn't take all that perfect data set in and it's like oh i see that kirsten labeled column c this that has meaning to me that's not how it works it just like sucks it all in at once as like an input and then spits out what it thinks you want to see next. So what I ended up doing was like mussing my data sets up. And instead I set them up pretty simply as like input, output. And so the input would be something like, hey ChatGPT, I have a survey I'd like you to review. Here it is. Pair it with the output that is like me, Kirsten, giving feedback on that survey question. Times like, as many examples as you can come up with. And then multiply all the examples you can come up with by like the wild different ways people could input them. So that's things like people using commas versus semicolons versus bullets versus numbers, putting in one survey question versus five versus 10, like all of those different things all need to go into that training data set. So if you're imagining this, this is a massive, massive amount of data. That's my process. If you have any questions, let me know.